It was what I wanted because I could control myself. I could control my life. I thought that was all yeah. I needed to do yeah. with all this stuff, with all this shit. You have to rise above. Stack belief on top of belief, on top of belief, and you will become unstoppable. If I can get you to change that thing called a belief, it just ball it up and just shatter that thing, then your life will be so much beautiful. I hope you have a beautiful life now, but I wanna make it better. I wanna challenge you in this video. Why? Because if you're like me, you didn't have a dad growing up. You didn't have a positive role model in your life telling you, you can be more, you can do more, you can create a great life for you. You can build generational wealth, don't worry. I'm that person for you. I'm that person for my three-year-old son. Last year, I challenged him to start praying over himself. I'm talking about two years old. He was scared at first, he was scared to do it. But I worked with him every night, like right now I'm working with you. Every day you watch these videos, we are working together. We're working through breaking the barriers from you having generational wealth, from you automating a business, from you having the life that you deserve. Every day I worked with him as we are going to sleep. Son, pray over yourself. Tell God what you are thankful for, but speak it as you already have it. He was scared. Now he does it himself. Like, son, how do we start off our prayer? He says, Heavenly Father, every single night. Okay, son, what's the next thing? Thank you, God, for making me smart. Thank you, God, for making me strong. Thank you, God, for giving me a place to sleep, food to eat. At first, he was scared to do it, but I started to stack a belief. Son, you can do it. On top of belief, viewer, my friend, you watching this video, you can do it. On top of belief, small things. The goal for my son, and I told him, son, eventually you are going to be having a huge prayer. This prayer for you is gonna be big because you are two when you are three, four. You are gonna have a huge prayer that you are praying over yourself every single night. Same thing as you. Huge vision, huge goal. But I didn't say son, say the entire prayer to yourself right here, right now. The first thing I said was, what did we start our prayer off with? Create that belief. It's the same thing when you are building yourself up to do whatever it is in your life. You have the big goal with no timeline. You have the big vision with no timeline. And you focus on creating small little wins every single day that stacks those beliefs on top of beliefs in, oh my God. You're gonna say, hold on a second. I can't believe this happened to me. That's my favorite word, by the way. I can't believe this is happening in my life. I can actually do this. When you say, I can actually do this, your life is going to take on a new form. You're gonna become a transformer. You're gonna transform in your mindset. Your beliefs are just going to go out of this world. One of my favorite books to this day is The Four Hour Work Week. It was introduced to me long, long time ago by a white guy. He was like, hey Rob, hey bro, like, do you by any chance, do you read at all? And I, at that time, I'm thinking to myself, no, not really. I was 23, 24, probably read one or two books at the time, the Bible and the secret. I don't think I read any other books, maybe some kitty books, but I was in the process of teaching myself how to read. Like I knew how to read at that time because I was studying textbooks, but not really read a book. So I would honestly say this was one of my first self-development books out of all books, amazing book. I read half of it because I got what I needed. In the book, Tim Ferriss, he forces you to do something to break fear. And when you break that barrier of fear, it leads into other fears, but you have the belief of knowing that you can break through 
fear, stacking beliefs. He said to go into a public place and lay down. I don't remember the exact words that you're supposed to say if somebody asks you what you're doing. I think it is, I'm taking a break or something like that. But I did that. I remember going into, I was living in San Diego. I went into a grocery store called Food For Less and I laid down in the middle of the floor. Like right as you walk into the doors, I was laying on the floor right there. And I was there for a minute. And I remember thinking before I went into the store, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna do this. I'm so scared. People are gonna laugh at me. People are gonna pull me out of the way. All these things. I thought about all the bad outcomes. When I laid down for that full minute, no one came up to me. People walked in the store, looked at me, shook their head and walked over me. Boom! I broke that fear that allowed me to step into another fear. Then I broke that fear that allowed me to step into what I'm doing now. If you can get a hold of the concept of creating a big goal and stacking your beliefs up to that goal, your life is never gonna be the same. But you have to speak these things over yourself. That's why I created a video within this channel and I was talking about becoming your own motivational speaker. So you're speaking these words over your life. I don't care who you are. We all do not have perfect days. I talk about waking up with a beautiful life, but every day for me is not beautiful. Sometimes I have days where I'm just like, yesterday, I don't wanna work out. I don't wanna do this thing. But what I do is I pop open one of my videos and I watch myself speak over myself, speak over yourself. If you speak over yourself, you will learn how to break the limitations on your life. You will learn how to stack a belief that's bigger than this belief, that's bigger than this belief. So when you have a challenge in your life, that challenge is not so big. Break and shatter those beliefs so you can walk into automation. And if you made it this far, then you are an automator. Automation creates a lifetime of freedom for you. Stay amped, stay pumped, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.